All right, so before you go full tilt into 3D printing, understand it's probably already dead. Now, there was two things that went through the pipes two weeks ago. Federal Streaming Act and the CASE Act. So, what exactly does that have to do with you? Because those are things that only I should have to worry about. Let me give you a little bit of background on them. This way you kind of understand. So before YouTube, if you were to back up, say, 20 years ago, if I wanted to be in front of the camera doing what I'm doing right here, I have to talk to the right director, reach under the table, and make them happy. If I wanted to, say, put out music, I had to link up with a label, uh, basically sell them my soul. I would sign some sort of contract that would basically say 99% um, of everything I'm going to make is going to go to this label. They're going to give me a check for about 1% of what they suspect I'm going to make. I will be obligated to do so many shows, put out so many singles, sign with so many other artists to do collabs to make other music. And you've seen that in like the early 90s because like kid pop stars and stuff would just collapse on the stage because they worked them so hard they would just fall. Britney Spears would do things like shave off of her hair. This way they just simply would not want to put her in front of the camera. Just a complete train wreck and that's usually how they would get the brakes on things. Even Michael Jackson spoke out against the labels. So anyway, YouTube comes along and now these things that before I would have to sell my soul to be a part of, I can just do. I can simply turn on a camera, I can get creative, I'm a YouTuber, I can just put it out there. Anybody can do anything they want, there's no contracts to sign, nothing. If it doesn't work out for you, who cares? If you make it really big, oh that's great too. Like everybody benefits from it. So anyway, since the internet and the form of free platforms, stuff like that, a lot of big companies have been viciously attacking them. Movie stars, or not movie stars, uh, the movie industry, the music industry, etc. trying to find ways to limit the artistic credibility of what's allowed on that platform. So if a person wants to be a star, they gotta go back old fashioned and sign on a label, or they gotta go under the desk and do the right thing to the right director at the right time, etc. So, that just affects me. You don't have to worry about that. Not a big deal. Anyway, the Case Act made a new agency kind of like the ATF. They're going to be a case court, a case, uh, it's just an agency. They're not there to write laws. What they are to do is enforce the laws. Obviously, we're very familiar with it because we're in the gun community and we're very aware of what the ATF is, how they function, etc. Well, they made an ATF for copyright. Normally, if somebody has, like if I were to steal something, they would take me to federal court and then I'd have to prove whether or not that was covered under fair use. With this new system, they're just avoiding federal court altogether and how it's written is basically if you know what you're doing and you have the power of a lawyer, you'll never have a problem with that. It, case Act, the case lawyers, all the copyright judges and stuff like that you won't have a problem with. None of them are federal judges or anything like that. Yes, you can still move it to a federal court, but you got to know what you're doing. You basically got to get a lawyer. So anyway, that, that's just stuff that concerns me. Kind of. Because it's also meant to attack like memes, stuff like that. So like if you make a meme about Joe Biden touching children, they could use this system to attack you, and it could cost you up to $30,000. So anyway, forget about all that because that stuff don't matter to you. That's more of something that matters to me. That's something I have to be aware of. Because very few people, unless you're a YouTube creator or some sort of intellectual content creator, not a big deal. However, from what I understand, and I did not read through this thing, it's like 5,000 pages long, but I have a professional coming on like an actual PhD that's going to help break this down for you to understand why it affects 3D printing. Because again, it's way above my pay grade. Anywho, I guess just like in the 1986 band, 
In the 11th hour, something was shoved through that basically attacks 3D printing and intellectual property because you're getting schematics and things you print go onto a 3D printer, your 3D printer is linked to the internet or at least to your computer, it reports on what it's printing, etc, etc, etc. Printing certain things in the very near future could cost you $30,000 or it just may not print at all, kind of like when you try to print off money. If you were to put it on your printer, it'll just burn, not gonna print that. If you try so many times, you very well could have a federal agent show up at your house with a big ass ticket. So anyway, uh, we'll probably be streaming sometime towards the end of the week. The point of this video was to one, inform you that there's gonna be a stream where we're gonna talk about 3D printers and how they're basically dead now after this. Two, don't invest completely into 3D printing. If you really want to get into stuff like this, you should probably get more something more like not a CNC because that's the same thing. It's still using a computer program, which ultimately could be shut down. Downloading that computer program could cost you $30,000, but you want to get a lathe and a mill. You got to go old fashioned. And that's where our country is seriously lacking is those small parts that are lathed and milled. We pretty much get them from out of the country. So the skills on how to use those generally speaking, are lost. And you need to, even just like a hobby lathe or a hobby mill. Again, from what I understand, 3D printing is dead, nobody knows it yet. And as they figure it out, it's gonna become a serious problem. So if you're gonna get into something like 3D printing, maybe just put the brakes on for a second and get into more like hobby lathing or hobby milling. Anyway, I hope to see you on the live stream when we hold it. I'll definitely put a notification to when it pops up and I'm gonna have a doctor on there who's gonna break this down and how this affects 3D printing and how it essentially has killed 3D printing. If you like to help support the channel, got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below just by clicking on those links. Even if you don't buy what the link is for, just click on that link, and do the Amazon shopping you were already gonna do anyway, and a little kickback for it because you came there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.